So this is the first video you've ever done, ever done in, in the in historical workshop. workshop. Yeah. This is what I do. Put it on the mill, set it up here, and this is meant to hold it. Put it back in here. This goes underneath of here. Tap, tap it down. Cut the loose string off. Right here. Okay. And now she's ready to string. Uh, when I finish, when I finish stringing this, I won't have to measure anything. This has all been scientifically measured ahead of time. So it's set for years to come. Each year I just measure it again to make sure it didn't get kicked out or knocked or something, got broken. So it'll take me about three to four minutes to do this. And it's locked me on up here. Then you see, it's tight. Sounds like a banjo string, right? Okay. <laughs> then you go for the head, stick, the loop, up here, where your hummers are. I'm down, thread it through. And, uh, and lock it in like that. Once they lock it in, then I just pick the design. Okay, I go from here and I, I make it what they call the H design. I just come down here, and this will give me the design of the kite that I need. Locked it off, and I just cut it, and the kite's finished. Ladies and gentlemen. Yep. An H kite. Yep. From the kite master. Uh huh. Using his kite mill. Right. And then if you want to paste it from here, I'll show you how to paste it. All right. Okay. Now you've got top uh, outside. Yeah. Top center. Yeah. So all of these are pre. Pre, pre cut. Okay. And how do you, how do you decide? What color are you gonna use? I mean, there's so many colors to okay. choose from. What's your inspiration for Colors. The color? Okay, that's what you, you, you figure out what you wanna start with. You figure out what you wanna start with. Red, blue, green. Your predominant colors are dark, so you put them in last. Right. So I uh, so grab my book like this, and I just open the book, and I just go through and I say, okay, let me see. Uh, okay, I get to, okay, let's get to the use here. I see, okay, all right, that's red, white, and blue, that's green, and orange, and yellow. Uh, okay, brown, black, and white. Okay, I'll just pick that color there first. Okay. And I'll just close it back up, and I'll go ahead, go to the, go to the drawers, pull out all the colors that I need, and start laying the colors out. We got the red, we got red bottom. Just lay that on there like that. And we got to get the light colors. Okay, the inside colors. So these are top. Yep, there's a top. And we just lay them on the kite like this. And your patch is all ready. Cool. So you got that, now you decided on what you're doing. Now it's time you to take, do. Now you take all your other stuff and you move it aside. Then you take your patches, turn your kite away from you like this. And you take your top patches and you put them to the top, right, and left. Center. Left, right, and center. Okay, and the bottom, just do the same thing. You go left. Right, okay, and center. So you know exactly what's got to go on, okay? You start with your lightest colors first, which are these colors here. Get your glue. Let's see how What type of glue do you use? Okay, this one here is, let's say it's almost older than you. 
<laughs> they don't have it anymore. Okay, and I've I've used it and used it and stretched it as far as I can go. And I mean, every year I sort of go into it and use a bit of it and sort of just do what I can to keep it going. And then we'll pick our next color, which will be the purple. And yes. Let me just soften this down a little bit more. So one thing I see on this microwave, right? What's I that? see bacon, baked potato, What's beverage, that? chicken. I don't see kite glue on her. <laughs> okay, I know. Just straighten it up. Just right, thank you. No kite glue no, it preset. Say, it also say kite glue preset. How old is this microwave? I don't even know kite glue. <laughs> I, I Maybe the, the new one has kite glue. I found it alongside side the room from me. <laughs> and I've had it ever since. And it hasn't even, matter of fact, I have two of them. I had one down here that I'm using also, but it hasn't broke down, so I didn't. But I know how old that one is, you'll tell wow. you true. You don't know how old the microwave is, yes, and we don't know how old the glue is either. Nope, the yeah, glue is very <laughs> old too, right. Yeah, the Davidson Company is the uh, mostly place I used to get the glue and the paper at first. And they used to have a son of a get paper for me too. I order it like special paper. And like I said, you just float it on, and it's in position. Takes a little bit of patience. Just take your time, and once you get it in your position, then you rest your hand on it and smooth it back out. Smooth it back out of your right hand, okay. You don't worry if it look, looks a little wrinkly, because it, it, as the glue dries, it'll it'll pull the paper out for you. That's one thing I remember as well. Tightens. Okay, yep. Tightens Tighten. overnight. Tightens overnight. Yep. Just put it up there and let her sit there. And she'll just stretch it all those little wrinkles out for you. And it'll look like a new kite the next day. Alright, you just take this one again. And you just take your rest it. It's a little tricky. You just take your time and it'll flow in. Okay. Bring it over. So some, or if you get it down, it won't move. So you have to get it in position before you rest it down. If it's not in position, you'll be right off cue. So you sometimes have to ease it up and pull it over. Like so. And then you press it. Right, because when, right, when it gets in that position, you say it's there now, see? Okay. Ah, next colors. Okay, we got the green and we got the blue. Okay, I think the blue is darker than the green. So, let's see. Yeah, it'll, it'll do. Okay, we'll put the green in next. And that's important. Just yeah. because it's blue, yeah. because if it was it a light was, uh, blue, light, then you would have used right, the light blue light first. Light blue first, right. Now you got it. Right on. Okay, almost. Now, One to go. Yep, now the hardest, this is the very difficult part to do. It's the headpiece. Everybody has a problem with doing the headpiece. Okay. Uh, What's your trick? Okay, my trick is, is to put it on first, get an idea where it's gonna go. Okay, because you, if you take too much from one end, you're not got enough off the other end. So you just mark it sort of like this here, and just take it back off, rest it aside, and then you just put your glue on your stick, down the middle press, and come up, right on up, all the way through, okay, and the other side, turn your brush over, and you don't even have to dip it again, you can just keep going, right on through this side, okay, all right, and you just take the headpiece, and you put it back on again, just like you had it before, just rest it on slightly, okay, and get one side down first. Just hold it down here like this, one end down here, one, put your thumb on here, and just push down like this. And you just push it to like that, then you spin it around, and the other end is still up. So then you just grab the other side, and push it over to the stick, and you can just rest it down here like so, and do the same thing. Voila. Then you just take and pull it to you like this, straighten it up. Take the crank side, and it's done. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay. Ah. Okay. 
Looks good. Looks good to me, Kite Master. Okay. What I do after that, normally I just take it and let it dry. But um, being in this case, we can't let it dry. We need to finish it so you can see what's happening. So I start trimming it. I have to trim it. I have to cut a little cuts right here to the hair so it'll fold down. And then spin it over like this while it's in the air. And take cut off the waste, what we call the waste. Okay, and be careful you don't cut your string. Take the ends off that's hanging way out. Like I said, I am, my hands are not as steady as they used to be, but I'm still doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, and you take all your strips and knock them off the table, and the rest of the kite down, and now we have to start folding the ends in to make it look decent, mm -hmm. okay? So we do the same thing here. You just take your hand, put it underneath, and run the brush along the edge like that, like so. And then you just wipe the hands, make sure they're dry, because they got glue on them, they'll stick to the paper. So then you just fold it, fold it, fold it, and roll it in, roll it in, roll it in, roll it in, and then smooth it up. And you just always come in the middle and come out like that and that's one done so and you have to follow that right along around okay that one is like almost ready all right kite right. master okay now you want hummus and sauna pieces to finish it off eggs is, is okay. it a kite without one nah, nope <laughs> right. okay and you just take out what i have pre-cut pieces hummus sauna pieces and I figure out what I would need for that. Okay, I like this one here. Let's see. I'll take, uh, not the red, because you got a red sign already. So you'll take the pink. We'll take a pink and drop this blue in there with it. Okay, and I should bring it out. And we'll have pink hummus. Okay, that'll match it up. I'm putting in the Santa. So what you do, you take them now and put them on. So you just take the kite, lay it down. To you like so okay we dip the brush in and we go in the center first center first like that and then we go one swipe round like so like that okay then we take the first one make sure it's straight you just lie it down like so light color first again yep no don't have to be okay don't have to be if, if it's the color that you picked don't have to be the light color you got on but it happened to be a light color so i put it because it was we already had red in there already so okay. you wanted to you, you, you the one thing about the, the the tassels you don't have to put a matching color if you don't want to you can put any type just in the after that, next one, you just swipe it around like so. You line it up, and you put it in the center like this. And pat it down. And that's ready, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Now we just spin it over. And now the they, most important part, you gotta hummus. put on the papers that wakes up yeah. your neighbors. Yes, oh uh, yes. This is what wakes, wakes up, up your neighbors. Your neighbors. <laughs> Except the devils are right, definitely. <laughs> you don't like that at all. <laughs> all right, okay. And you just put it under. I take both hands and just fold it upwards towards you, like so. Make sure it's straight, and then you just run it down like that. Next one, you take the same, eh? Just put it on upwards and fold it. And then just run it down like so. And then back one. Yeah. So with all that, right. it would be a silent kite. Kite, right. That's what That'd be a sail kite. Yeah, it would right? be a sail kite. And plus, it, hey, this is the beauty of the kite also. Okay, now, now we've completed the kite and it's ready for market. How you feel about it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, took me a few, few minutes, but hey, yeah. it was pushing. Because normally I would do about 20 of those during a day, and I would hang them. Right. And then I do all that trimming the next day. 
Okay. Because I don't have to be nervous on trimming them because the paper won't move. Right. Because it's all dried up. And how long do you let it dry before, you know, if you wanted to fly it? Oh, you, no, you can fly it in about 15 minutes or so. No, you can fly it. Wow. Yeah. You can definitely fly it in about 15 minutes and, it, and it, it'll hold. Because the glue dries pretty fast, but just when you're waiting for it, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, thank, thank you very you. much, okay. Kite Master. You're welcome. Any final words? Well, uh, fly away from wires and go in a safe area. And if you need help, ask for it. <laughs>